Hey everybody, this is Brett and this 2022 Jeep Gladiator Sport Willys Edition is stock number 22J59. I'm here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Gladiator headquarters. This 2022 Jeep Gladiator has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. It's going to get you 22 miles per gallon on the highway 17 city for an average of 19 miles per gallon. It also puts out 285 horsepower. This truck is capable of towing up to 4,000 pounds and has a class leading payload of 1,700 pounds as well. So the Willys package is basically a sport edition with the Willys edition on it. So you get the gloss black grille. You also get the gloss black surrounds on the uh, fog light uh, trim there. Does have just the standard fog lights and headlights. Bright white is the color. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video. I'm shooting this video in 4K. We're gonna check out the original window sticker. Um, this one's kind of a cool one because it has the dual top group. So it has the hard top on it. And then as we go through this vehicle, you'll see how they ship it with the soft top. The other thing about the uh, Willys package is you get these uh, very aggressive Firestone Destination MT2 tires. And these tires are LT25 75R17. So you can see they do have an ultra aggressive uh, tread pattern to them, more of an off-road uh, tread pattern. So this one has the rock rails. That's what else you get with the Willys package. This one comes with the color match fenders, which is nice. You also get the Willys stickers right there. And if you didn't like those, you could always take those off. Get the little sandals in the windshield, the Jeep climbing up, or the sandals on the uh, plastic surround there, and then the Jeep climbing up the windshield there. You also get the blacked out Jeep lettering as well as the Gladiator lettering is black too. Uh, T50, that's how you get these doors off. We actually have a video showing you how to do that. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen. And uh, the nice thing about this one is it does have the enter and go system. So if it has these little buttons on the doors, that means it has the enter and go, go system. I'm going to show you the original window sticker here. Feel free to pause this. I'm not going to go through everything, uh, but most of it, 2022 Jeep Gladiator, you get the you can see that it, it's a sport package. So it comes as a sport and then the Willys package is on top of the sport. Um, a lot of people always are confused with those. Uh, 3.6 liter Pentastar with start stop, eight speed automatic transmission. You get the Jeep Wave membership, uh, the 373 gears and uh, everything there is your standard equipment. Your optional equipment starts with the 24W package, which 24W stands for the Willys package. And that is a $6,295 option. You can see it gives you those black wheels, those uh, off-road tires, convenience group, cab rock rails. It also has track lock anti-spin rear differential, which is a big one. Uh, premium front bumper and with gloss black accents, body color fender flares, black grill, four-wheel drive decal, the Willys hood decal, daytime running lights, leather wrapped steering wheel, deep tint windows, one touch uh, fr power front windows, um, speed sensitive power locks, power heated mirrors, and automatic wipers. Also gives you the all weather floor mats, which are really nice. Technology group is $1,095, which gives you that enter and go system on the doors. Trailer tow package, is $645. You also get the trailer hitch zoom. Cold weather group gives you heated seats, heated steering wheel, and then the 8.4 radio and premium audio group is $2,095, which gives you the factory navigation and all the serious stuff there. Dual top group with premium uppers is $4,990. So that's a big expensive package on here. Soft trifold, trifold tonneau cover is 625 and the eight speed automatic transmission is 2000 bucks. Select track full time four wheel drive is 695. Black Freedom hard top piece is 1695. Wireless speaker is 345 and spray and bed liner is 525. 
Uh, you save 850 bucks by going with the Willys package over just normal options being added to a sport package. So that's pretty good. Uh, 59,485 is your MSRP. If you want to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of the screen, we have a link to this vehicle on our website. So you can click that and get your summit pricing right there as well as apply for financing and contact us. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. So you get 17 city, 22 highway, 19 average. You can see you get four and five stars for front crash and rollover is three. The other two are not rated. Um, there are those all other floor mats. Get the topographical design on there. Really like that. Uh, anyways, so these hard tops, they come off. They come off pretty easy. We actually got a video showing you how to do that as well. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen. Now here is how these come when you have the dual top group. So all those parts um, are for the soft top and all these boxes. I can imagine that that is quite a thing to get put together. Here are tools. Here's your wireless speaker. This normally sits behind the back seat, but because of how they have this all strapped in here, um, they put it right there. Also, here's your hard top bag for your front hard top pieces. Anyways, uh, notice the color match fenders back here. You get the 3M plastic guard there uh, to keep your fenders looking good. So like I said, this one does have the tow package, which gives you the receiver hitch, the four pin, the seven pin wiring, and then the backup camera with the zoom. Um, once again, this is rated at 4,000 um, pounds, and it has a 1,700 pound payload. So I'd like to show you the spray and bed liner back here, but it's, uh, once again, more soft top pieces, so um, I think this is the actual big soft top part that goes um, over the front and everything. So, or maybe these are the doors. This might be the part of the doors in there. I'm not really sure. We, everything's still in the box. Not for us to open up. Spray and bed liner goes onto the tailgate, which is uh, pretty sweet. Locking tailgate, that Mopar soft tonneau cover is nice as well. Um, we'll go take a look at the seats here. You get heated power mirrors, driver seat height adjuster. Um, seats look really good. You get lumbar there, the all weather floor mat, auto headlamps, power locks, mirrors, tilt and telescopic steering wheel. Hop inside, check out the instrument cluster and the radio real quick. And then we'll do a final walk around with all the lights on and, uh, can see that this one has 54 miles on it. You do get the seven inch LCD display, digital speedometer, and the, that leather wrap steering wheel that comes with the Willys package, which is really nice. Cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left. This one does have the 8.4. Now I believe this is the 4C radio. This is the 4C radio. You get the factory navigation system, which is um, works really nice. You have your heated seats, heated steering wheel controls. You can check out that backup camera. And uh, just like the Wranglers now, these backup cameras are HD, so they're crystal clear. You get the uh, dynamic grid lines. That means when you turn the steering wheel, those lines turn as well. Kind of show you where you're going to be going in the future. And that works out pretty nice. And then you can zoom in on the receiver hitch to get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time, every time. You have all your different apps here. Um, you have projection manager where you can project your cell phone to the screen via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. And uh, if you have a nav system that you like better than factory one, project it right up there or just play music and stuff. We actually did a demo on an 8.4 with, with Android Auto. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen. The last thing I'll show you on the radio is the off-road pages because they're pretty cool. Uh, they do take a second to load um, while they're loading. You can see maybe lost but never stuck. You get more tactile climate and um, audio controls right there. Has start stop sta uh, stability control. You can turn that off. And then you have your uh, speed select crawl control.
up here is your off-road pages and uh, you get the steering angle you can see as I turn that steering wheel that angle changes and you can actually if the wheels are turned more you can see it visually on the screen there you can see where your transfer case is you have your latitude longitude and altitude unfortunately um, <laughs> when we're in the picture studio here we don't have uh, satellite reception so that's why it says zero feet for altitude we are above that um, coolant oil temp battery voltage trans temp and oil pressure because it's not running none of that stuff is really well i mean everything's pretty cool temperature of the room right now so then you get pitch and roll once again needs a satellite to uh figure that out but we're on pretty flat ground in here anyways down here your power windows you get a media center with an augs usb and usb c now this is your uh, four-wheel drive system with the select track um full-time four-wheel drive okay so you can see you can put auto or part-time you also get four low there as well eight-speed automatic transmission keyless entry fits nicely into that little spot there you have your remote start on there and you get the big flipper key which is one of my favorite features on the gladiators and wranglers I like that key a lot um and then you get kind of the flat gray uh, dash trim. I don't think it's metallic. Oh, it is metallic just a little bit. It's got just a little bit of a shimmer to it. But they seem to paint these all different colors. A lot of times the Rubicons will be red. Um, the Saharas come. These are leather. Uh, they're your hardtop pieces. They quick disconnect really easy in the front. So if you just wanted to take the front hardtop pieces off and leave the back on, you could because the back's a little bit more involved. Um, but these come off in literally 30 seconds. So that's pretty cool. SOS and assist buttons, and you have your auto dimming mirror, and your home link buttons are right there for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. And uh, like I said, we'll do a final walk around with all the lights on here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Always like doing these uh, videos on these Wranglers and, and Gladiators, of course. And uh, we're excited because we're just about done with our Jeep showroom. You've probably seen ladders and fans and stuff, which you can see in the background there. Our Jeep showroom is uh, getting really close to being done. So as soon as that's done, we're hopefully going to be getting a lot more really cool inventory uh, that I can video and go over uh, for all the people on YouTube and our website, of course. And to see more pictures of this Gladiator or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, and uh, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications. You'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Gladiator videos like this one in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and uh, we're super excited to be helping you with a brand new 2022 Jeep Gladiator. And this one is the Willys edition in bright white. Thanks again for checking out the video. Hope it was helpful. And remember to like, subscribe, and share on my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.